In today's episode, we'll learn everything you need to know about hair, haircuts, and hairstyles. Look at the pictures. Pause when needed and repeat after me to practice your American pronunciation. When you go to a hair salon or to the hairstylist or hairdresser, you can say, I'd like to get a haircut or I'd like to get a perm. I'd like to get whatever you'd like done. You can also say, I'd like to get my hair done. Right? We've all had bad hair days before. You might throw it up in a bun when you have a bad hair day if you're a girl, maybe a boy too. You might have a man bun. Or when I was a little kid, I used to put my hair in braids when I had a bad hair day. Also, some little kids have pigtails. I still do French braids sometimes. Um, that's a very nice braid. <laughs> but when I want to have a nice hairdo, right? This is a specific style, a hairdo. Then I go to a hairstylist or hairdresser to get my hair done. They work at a salon. Remember, not a saloon. That's a Western bar. So let's talk about some hairstyles and cuts so that you won't have any difficulty when you go to the salon. This episode corresponds to episode number 23 of the American English podcast. You can access the link to that episode down below. In that episode, I talked to my aunt Sonia, who is a hairdresser, all about getting your hair done. Repeat after me. Layers. I'd like long layers down to my chin. A bob. I'd like a bob. Bangs. This is also known as fringe in British English, and that's the hair that hangs down over your forehead. Perm. Perms were popular in the 80s, maybe the early 90s, and it's short for permanent wave. So you can imagine the women with the very big hair and the spiral curls. Color. I'd like to get my hair colored. The most common hair colors are black, brown, dark brown, golden brown, dirty blonde, bleach blonde, white, gray, and red. Sometimes we call people with red hair gingers. Highlights or lowlights. When you go into a salon, you might ask for highlights if you want light streaks on your darker hair. Low lights are darker streaks on lighter hair. We call them streaks, streaks of color. Many times women go into a salon to touch up the roots. To touch up means to make small or quick changes to something. To touch up the roots means to just color the roots. Many times women or even men do this when hair color grows out. To touch up can be used in other ways. For example, halfway through a night of partying, I run to the bathroom to touch up my makeup, right? To improve it a little bit, add a little powder, maybe put on some lipstick, etc. Sometimes women or men just might want to cover up gray. When your hair is split or divided at the bottom, we say that we have split ends or dead ends. And a lot of times to get rid of those, we say, can I get a trim? When you get a trim, you don't want to remove a lot of the length from the hair. You just want to cut off the split ends. I like more volume, right? You want your hair to be fluffier. You want it to stick up more, right? My hair is flat, right? This is when you do not have volume. Can you blow dry and curl my hair too? Right, so to blow dry with a blow dryer and you curl your hair with a curler, you straighten your hair right, to make it flat. So for boys, uh, the words are a little bit different. So you can have your hair slicked back. Some men have uh, a buzz cut. A buzz cut is when you use a buzzer or a razor. Um, sometimes called clippers, according to my Aunt Sonia. Um, and that's to shave off or to buzz off the longer hair. Uh, when you have the short sides uh, and a longer top, sometimes we might call this a fade, right? So it fades from longer into a shorter area. Okay, so you have, can ask for a high fade where the, where the shorter hair goes up higher 
on the head or a mid fade, mid range, or a low fade where the hair continues a little bit longer all the way down to the bottom. Sideburns um, are on the front of the ears on men that usually you know, are an option for them to keep. Uh, sometimes sideburns connect the hair on the head with a beard. A mustache is above lips. Uh, mohawk is when you have hair just down the middle. A mullet, like short in the front, party in the back. <laughs> Bald is when you have no hair. Okay, or you can also have a receding hairline, which happens a lot with men as they begin to age, and also some women have this. A calic is another thing that we all deal with. It's sort of a permanent wave that you were born with. Okay, so you might go to a hairstylist and say, hey, can I um, get a trim on the top and maybe a trim on the sides? Or I'd like you to take off about an inch, which is about 2.5 centimeters, or uh, maybe you'll shave it all off to be bald, right? So it's good to know the length of hair that you would like removed. Remember, one inch is 2.5 centimeters. Once again, listen to episode number 21 of the American English podcast to hear a lot of these terms in conversation with a hairstylist. 